Hey guys, this is a short introduction to the popular command named the gawk command in Linux and Unix systems. Now I'll get into it, so firstly I'll probably explain what it is, so I'll pull a bit of a dictionary Homer Simpson on this one, so what is gawk? Let's see it explained as a pattern scanning and processing language. So that doesn't really tell me a great deal, but it basically allows you to find uh, different bits of information in a text file. And the file I'm going to use in this instance is this one here. So first of all, let's open up Gawk. Let's open up this uh, file using the Gawk command. So I'll just clear up the screen a little bit. First of all, I'll have to navigate to that directory. So that looks like that's my home directory desktop. And uh, let's open this file with gawk so we'll first invoke the command gawk and then we'll uh, print it out using the command inside let's see that will be a squiggly bracket out and we need to name the file itself so there we go so uh, this will just simply print anything that's in here so let's do that now you can do this with a number of programs uh, the whole point isn't just to sort of show everything in the file. There is a lot more you can do. So I've got uh, just a bunch of names here, a bunch of text files. Now it's it's for a bit of data manipulation as well as you can guess. And a lot of the times these uh, spaces here are used as the delimiters for uh, columns. So let's just say we only want to show the first word of every name in the file. What would we do is uh, go back to the gawk command and then do something like uh, dollar sign one, which is first uh, first in first column in the in the file. So there we go. We can only see the first names. Now similarly, we'll do number two. We'll only see the second names: Franklin, Jackman, Hobbit, Sanders, Batman. Now of course, if you wanted to, we can do both, but that's just the default command when you hit print. So it's going to do the same, although this one doesn't actually show a space. In order to show the space, you might have to do something a little like, I'll move this up, uh, let's do a, a comma and allow it to be there. Now there is a, a bunch more things you can do. Just say you want to find something, and this is where it starts to get a little bit more powerful. Just say you want to find anything that begins with the letter B. Okay, so let's, uh, within the uh, the comma there, or the, uh, not the comma, but the, uh, oops, it eludes me right now, but let's go BE and anything starting, actually, yeah, anything starting with B. No, what are we missing? We are missing uh, another part of the command, which is actually, there we go. See, we all learn from our mistakes, so you actually need to uh, properly invoke that command. You'll need to do the forward slashes. So, as we can see, this is uh, is printing out anything in the uh, people.txt, anything that begins with a B. Now here's where I think it personally gets a bit more interesting. Let's print out anything with a B, but let's not even see the B. Let's see the second column. So let's go, uh, as you might guess, uh, dollar sign two, so second column, and there we go. So actually, in a way, it does show Batman, but um, it's showing the second column with anything with, uh, with a capital B in it too. So you will notice, so that's why that's pulling that up, you will notice uh, it is case sensitive. We're not going to see a lot. So if we did that with a lower B, uh, lower case B, we're only going to find Hobbit. So let's just say, to clear it up a bit, B, E. So we're going to see less, most likely, there we go. So there's Benjamin Franklin and Bernie Sanders. So that's pretty much it in a really, really tight nutshell, guys. Um, there is many things you can do with Gawk. Let's bring up the manual and move down, you can see the commands there. But I just wanted to show you guys this as an introduction. Now you wouldn't use it purely as opening just a, a file, a notepad file, there's many things that can do that, including nano, vim, get it, etc, etc, cat, you know, whatever you want it to be. But uh, this is more for manipulation of data, and it does come in handy uh, through, uh, you know, business Linux, business Unix systems, things like that. So uh, yeah, data manipulation, uh, this is just a starting point. I, I would just pretty much throw up this video to say, you know, hey, this is a get to know this command, it exists, and uh, you might use it down the line. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope that this uh, is of some help for you. Ciao.